bring you guys with me as I take a little walk out back in this beautiful snow. It's coming down fast. I just love the beauty of the snow, the beauty of the stillness and the quiet when everything is covered. It's one of the things that I missed when I lived in tropical places <laughs> is the beauty, the stillness and quietness of snow. Everything looks so fresh and clean. I'm sure you can hear the squeaking <laughs> of my feet. We've gotten probably about two inches in less than two hours. We stayed home from church today as we're supposed to get more and the roads would probably have been bad. We'll be watching online, but also enjoying So far, the goats haven't followed me this morning. They're not always a big fan of walking through all of this. Do you guys love this as much as I do? be nice if the goats came and followed me now. That'd be a good shot, huh? Even with this snow, I'm just imagining all that could be back here. <clears throat> with animals and gardens. Just so thankful that I've been given this and even though I may not be able to do what I had originally thought, I can still do something good and something that will bless my family and other people. Something that definitely needs to make the list is some type of place for me to sit back here. <laughs> you know, if I'm sitting back here with the goats or a garden or just even if that doesn't happen this year, a place to just sit and enjoy the stillness and the quiet, away from the busyness of all of the things that demand my attention in the house, the busyness of the loudness of the road. You know, we all need to do that. A place to just sit and listen to his voice and quiet my mind and my heart. <laughs> Do you hear the birds? Hmm. There's my hot hunk of a husband giving the goats some more water. Oh, it's crazy. These flakes are so huge. I think the girls went to go get some supplies. They can sled down the hill in the goat area. Last year, they took one of the goats with them. That was pretty funny. That hill there, and from the porch, they can slide all the way down here on a sled. Joe's getting the snowblower out. 
We're already at a level one snow emergency. He's gonna clear our paths from where we get water over to the chickens and over to the goats. Goats are heavy. <laughs> it's really heavy, he said. It is, it's like these huge wet flakes. The snow is not getting blown very far, so it's gotta be really wet clogging up in there. <laughs> You're pushing snow. <laughs> it's definitely working faster and better than a shovel, but it's really wet, heavy snow. It's amazing how fast this is coming down. make it a lot easier tomorrow to get the wagon through with buckets of water. There was no snow a little bit ago. That's where we're at right now. Joe got paths cleared from the house over to where we get the water, back to the shed and to the goats, to the coop and to the run. The chickens aren't going to come out. They do not appreciate this snow. The duck may definitely is more willing to go out than us. And you just need to see if Blackie is in here. If not, I'll have to go in the coop. Sometimes, there she is. That Silky sometimes has trouble getting off the roost herself. It's like she can't see well or something. There's Phyllis Stiller. <laughs> See, they see all this and they're like, mm, no thanks, I'll pass. Here are our snowmen. Oh, they're women. <laughs> it's been snowing all day and the snow's so good for making snowmen and snowballs and stuff. We wanted to make one right in front of the house. We got a few more inches of snow thought I'd share some of the beauty of it with you. We're letting the chickens and goats out for the day. We still have paths from yesterday from the snow blower. That looks so pretty, the trees. The kids are actually swinging on the swings this morning. The first one to venture out is the duck. They did not come out at all yesterday. <laughs> it looks like she's drinking water from the snow. Well, hi, Addie. Hey, come here. You wanna say hello to everyone? My best girl. Well, here's Bonnie. She doesn't want to be left out. <laughs> Hi, Bon Bon. Good morning. Definitely the hardest part of wintertime chores is dealing with water. Even though we made trails with the snowblower yesterday, we did get more snow and pulling it in the wagon, though I can do it, is not the easiest. Maybe I should get a sled. Hi guys, you're not gonna come out? Yeah, sorry. Good thing you have this run in the coop. Safi, are you thinking about it? You going outside? I'm about to fill their water. <laughs> the duck thinks there's already stuff there. We dump those out and turn them out overnight because there's no reason to have water out here. When the chickens aren't here, the door is down at night to protect them. We don't want to attract anything with food or water in here. The food gets put away in a metal can every single night. But these black dishes, the rubber feed pans, 
are the best thing for us in the winter time because if we do leave the water in and it gets frozen you can turn them upside down and even stomp on them to get it out turn you around and it comes out easily you plastic things buckets they'll just break the nipple waterers are useless and we don't have electricity out here so we're not using water heaters or anything like that so those feed pans have been the best thing what we've used for the last five plus years in the winter time anyway we do use them in the summer too but we also have nipple waterers around so get these chickens and ducks some water <laughs> i'm not sure if i said it so i want to um just for those who are curious we don't put any food or water at any time inside the actual coop and that is for a couple of reasons one to maintain the cleanliness of inside the coop and the moisture level in there and also not to attract anything to try to come in the coop. The chickens do not eat or drink at all at night. So it is, there's no point of having it in there. Once it's daytime, the chicken door comes up and they're able to come in the run. Then we come out and feed and water them. So it's just not needful. One less thing to worry about. And we predator proof our coop and run. The pallet is there just to help keep the water cleaner. You know, with all of the rain that we've had, they're muddy. The ground can be muddy. You know, most of it's dry in here, but not all of it. There's some obviously moisture over here and they splash. So it just helps to keep the water a little cleaner, keep all of the leaves and things from flying up and getting inside the water. We're out here for chores and we made a snowman for mom. Yeah, I know, the snow is still here. <laughs> They're like, I don't like it. I'll get you your food just a second. Hi. Hi. Oh, Maybelle, you'd be nice. out of both probably because they were in there all day yesterday not wanting to be in the snow the water wasn't frozen though the snow emergency has been lifted this morning i don't think we're supposed to get much more accumulation <clears throat> and the temperature has gone up to where things have melted it's it's kind of wet well of course snow is precipitation but um pretty hard to pull that that wagon through some of this deeper snow even though we cleared some of it uh so i think that the snow is going to stay on the ground for a while which is good less mud but it's going to be warmer the next few days so we'll see what that means here you know it it doesn't change too much but it can be pretty hard you know moving a lot of snow all at once it's so heavy our neighbor is awesome and came over and plowed our driveway yesterday. So there's just a little work left there to do. But I hope you guys have been enjoying seeing all this snow. It's just so pretty how you can see every little branch on the trees. I just love it. In a few short months, we'll have meat birds over here again. Just love the different seasons that the Lord has given us. I didn't bring my tripod out with me this morning. I wasn't sure how much recording I was going to do. But I'm just sitting out here enjoying the beauty of the snow thinking about the gardening year coming up. And I thought I'd share a little bit about what I'm hoping to do. It's 
could be longer term than this year. You know, we just have to see what we'll be able to, to do. You know, sometimes things come up and you have to take care of those items before something else. And, you know, we choose to do this homestead life debt free. So I'm certainly not buying equipment or seeds or, you know, garden beds or anything like that without having the cash for it. Um, you know, it's just not worth it for my, my heart, my mind, my anxiety to be in debt. It's happened and we don't like it and we do our best to get out of it as soon as possible. You know, we just, and we're one, one income family. So my hope is definitely to expand the garden a lot this year. Um, I would really like to grow a lot more food. Um, last year I wasn't able to source some things quite as much as I had in years past, like the Amish auction and different things like that. But also I would just, I would like to grow it here. I would like to utilize the land that we have. You know, we have just over five acres and we're not utilizing all of it by any means, you know, and not that we necessarily need to use every bit of it, but I do want to utilize it the best that I can uh, for for supplying for my family. This year, we should have three does and milk, which I'm really excited about for um, just the increase of dairy products that I can make. Um, Maybell did an amazing job for us last year and we, we had plenty of milk and I was able to make ice cream and try making butter and uh, I think I made cheese and Yo lots of yogurt, um, but there's more things I want to and more quantity of some of those things as well. So I'm really excited about that. Two of our does will be first freshener, so I have no idea um, how much milk they will give, but I am looking forward to that. Uh, my, my garden near the house does produce a good amount, but there's plenty of things that I would like to grow that I just don't have the space to grow. I can't grow a lot of like vining crops you know, if we want to grow um, like watermelon or, or things like that, I, I just don't have the space up here to do it. And I'm using all of the full sun space that I have near the house. So, you know, everything would tell me, you know, well, that's what you have and, and no more because that's the zone my garden should be in. My, my property is starts out very skinny and widens and it's long. So it's kind of like a bowling alley. So the area that I have showed you where I would like to um, do some more gardening <laughs> is nowhere near where a garden should be for the proper zoning or whatever for your, you know, you have your different zones where you have your animals, your gardens and that. However, I have to work with what I have and we're not moving anytime soon <laughs> and uh, I can't make more full sun uh, area near my house. You know, we have lots of trees around, but some of them are not on our property. I can't just go clearing those, not that I would want to. So, and also I need to leave areas opened to get equipment back here, trailers for when we have pigs, you know, things like that. So that is my only area. So if I want to increase what I'm growing, I'm just going to have to do it. So it, it may, it may suffer being back there you know, where I don't see it all the time, or it could just serve to be a huge blessing to get me out and moving more, to be more physically active. Um, you know, we'll see. But my, my hopes are to, I grew potatoes for the first time last year and I couldn't believe how easy it was. Why did, had I never grown them before? I definitely want to grow a lot more potatoes. Uh, I definitely want to give onions another try, but I am not going to buy the sets. I'm going to buy the little starts or start seeds myself. Um, this fall, I'll plant a lot more garlic. I was cooking yesterday and I have like four cloves of garlic left from all of the garlic I harvested in July. I do still have dehydrated garlic, but I, I need more. <laughs> and so I have, I don't remember, 150 or so growing right now, but I'll, I'll need to increase that this coming year. Um, I want to grow water. My, my husband wants watermelon so bad. I definitely want to grow that. Uh, some more squash, pumpkin type things. Some more melons. I love melons. And some more berries of all kinds. Unfortunately, yesterday, one of my blueberry bushes got trampled by one of the younger people in my house. 
they were very sorry, but I don't know if there'll be anything from that, but we want to do that. Joe and I really, really want to plant some fruit trees. Should have done that six years ago when we moved here, but better late than never. So that area in the back will be perfect for some of those things. Um, a lot more tomatoes because, you know, I'm trying to to make as many of our tomato products as possible. And it takes an insane amount of tomatoes to make like sauce. I haven't even attempted ketchup or like tomato paste yet. That would be even more, but I'm not gonna have enough diced tomatoes to get me through to where I'm harvesting tomatoes. And I haven't bought, you know, like store-bought canned tomatoes in years. And so I may have to just skip eating tomatoes tomato products <laughs> once those are gone I don't know we'll see and I want to do a whole lot more flowers we're talking about where we're going to put the wood chips to uh, just store them but I have an area that I can't um, do anything with it's right in front of our propane tank so it's it gets really weedy you can't dig there but I thought I'm gonna put down some cardboard and some wood chips and then this year I'm gonna put a bunch of flowers there so it's something pretty to look at and I grew flowers last year, but I really want to up my game. I would really like to build some um, containers to put on my brick patio that is right at my kitchen, as well as a tiered garden that is there. I haven't really done much with it. You know, I free range my chickens, so they do get in there and tear a lot of things up. So I may want to try to fence that off a bit, but I would really like to put some nice raised beds in there and do you know a lot of leafy greens so that is an area that i could increase uh garden space by the house so we'll see it will take you know the money to build the beds as well as the soil i do um i am able to buy some awesome compost locally from somebody i buy grass-fed beef from and so i'll make arrangements with her again and now that we have a truck i can go get that in a safer manner <laughs> We get it in our little trailer in our minivan, and that was kind of sketchy. Last year, she delivered some to me, which was a huge blessing. So, but I'm going to need a lot. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, we'll see. But it's, and I know it seems kind of funny talking about all these things as it's snowing here, but I have to plan now. I'm making my seed list. I do have a lot of seeds, but there's some things that I don't have that I'll need to buy. Um, I didn't buy any seeds, save a couple, um, a couple herbs last year. So, you know, I'm pretty frugal that way. You know, I, I don't spend a lot of money on this kind of stuff. I do it as frugally as possible. So we'll see what we're able to do. And hopefully you'll get to join me as I do this. Hopefully there's a lot more successes than failures this year in the garden. I didn't have any huge failures last year, so that's good right so let me know in the comments below what you're hoping and dreaming about doing and growing for this upcoming season even if it's just in a bucket on your porch it would be fun to join along i hope you're all staying safe and warm wherever you're at i appreciate you watching pop some more homesteading videos up here until next time god bless mm -hmm.